Okay, good morning. We're going to call the October 1st stormwater management meeting to order. Okay, roll call, please. Sure. Dessart. Eckhoff. Evans. Garcia. Hinterlong. Nero. Kojak. Police. Tornatori. Yusuf. Zay. Here. Okay, great. We have a quorum. We'll move on to public comment. Public comment is limited to three minutes, unless you're Kay McKean. Good morning, Kay. <laughs> morning, everybody. Uh, wow, it's October, so that means it's the anniversary of the Clean Water Act. It's 52 years old this month, so we've got a lot going on. The Carroll Stream Library has the water exhibit that we all worked on together, and that'll be up for the whole month of October to help people know what they can do to help protect our water quality and reduce flooding. We have our storm drain medallion push this uh, month, really trying to get people to help with the storm drains, get them spread around the county and to let people know not to rake their leaves there or pour anything else like cooking oil down the drain. And I want to thank Canon. Canon is a company in Itasca, and this is the third year they've been doing just a few 10, 15 storm drain medallions with their employees around DuPage County, so we're grateful for that help. We're also sponsoring a teacher workshop, and it's kind of a different workshop as we learn more and more about what works with teachers and with humans is that we all care about life. And so we're working on the macro invertebrates in our ponds and how when we make wrong decisions, when we rake our leaves into the storm drains or when we put too many chemicals on our lawn, when we don't protect soil from soil erosion, how that impacts that life in those ponds. So we're doing the watersheds and the ponds kind of together to make people appreciate what's in our ponds, what should be in our ponds, and how we impact what that life is and how that impacts us with flooding and those kinds of things. So that's coming up this month. We have 11 towns in DuPage County already signed up for the pumpkin smash, which will, as, as I said last month, we'll have two dates, November 2nd and November 9th. And it is a drug take back time in um, October. We're grateful for the Sheriff's Department to help us once again collecting uh, EpiPens and syringes at the dairy and recycling event so that doesn't go into our landfills and get into our water. And of course, it's the nationwide drug take back day, October 26th. So we've got a lot of events to help people protect that water quality. So it's a busy month. Thanks for all you guys do. Thanks, Kay. And that's a, that's a big thing. I mean, people, when stuff happens, People pass away, things like that. The first thing is to think of is just dump it into the toilet, which is probably the worst thing you can do. So, I mean, these buy back or the bring back program is huge, and it makes a big difference in water quality. Right, and to have a a nationwide emphasis on it is really good for everybody. So, um, it's important to get the information out in city newsletters and Facebook any way that we can um, to help people make the right decisions. You're right. Thank you. Thank you, Kay. Kay, thank you for everything you do. And again, pumpkin smash, it's different than when we were kids. Bring them to those facilities and they'll take them. So the squirrels don't like it, but the environment will. So uh, that's all we have for public comment. Chairman's remarks, just a few today. I just want to thank our staff and Sarah. Uh, we had the uh, quarry tours this weekend. I think they were there from probably about 7 to 5, 5 p.m., 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., a full day. Uh, sold out in 10 minutes, 580 people on the buses, and uh, they really they really know their business there. I mean, they do a great job. Sarah, we're thinking if Sarah ever leaves, I'm thinking she might be going to Disney or some other place as tour people. People, keep up, please. Keep up, please. It is, uh, but no, staff does a great job, and I appreciate it. And we do have a small war on our hands between the East Lobe and West Lobe people, which side's the best side between Jamie and Chris, but... Uh, but no, it was great. And we had a few elected officials out and people don't understand the whole Salt Creek and the quarry and how much that uh, how much that does for the county and how much water goes in there. And it's actually kind of weird because it's very low right now, which is fine. I'm not going to complain, but it's very low. Even when we open the gates just a little, mm -hmm. you can see the water drop in the creek immediately and the water line go down about four or five inches. So it's uh, it's great. But I want to thank Sarah and them. They did a great job again. And I got a bunch of emails and messenger messages from people who were in it said it just did a great job and it was just uh, just a great day and they had no idea it was even back there and what the quarry did. So, thank you. Uh, that's all I have. We'll move on to approval of the minutes. Can I get a motion on 24-2476? That's Tuesday, September um, Point of order. Point of order. Oh. Chair, yeah. should we let him in? Did he just come on? Okay. 
Okay. Let's see. A quorum of members is physically present. I'll entertain a motion to permit those members not physically present due to personal illness, disability, employment purposes, a business of the board, family or emergency, or unexpected child obligation to participate by video or teleconference. Moved by Member Desart. Second by Member Brumble. All in favor? Opposed? Okay. Welcome, Yusuf. Thank you. Now do we have a motion on the minutes? Moved by Member Desart, second by Member Garcia. Any questions or corrections? Hearing none, all in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. Hmm, not sure what this is. I'm going to move on a budget transfer. Can I have a motion on 24 2480? Budget transfer salary adjustment for overtime. Budget transfers needed to increase call out for both flood operations and increase spill responses. That amount of $30,000. Member Garcia, second by Member Evans. Any questions? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Motion carries. Uh, staff reports. Any questions on staff reports? No. Hearing none, is there a motion to receive and place on file 7A 24 2579 and 7B 24 2594? Moved by Member Police, second by Member Evans. Any questions? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Motion carries. Move on to action items. I have a motion on 24 2487. Staff is requesting approval to open water quality improvement grant program for 2025. Uh, deadlines January 3rd, 2025. Moved by Member Garcia, second by Member Evans. Uh, just a little bit on our program. We started the water quality program in 2000. In 2024, we celebrated 25 years, so that's good. So we have approximately awarded $6.6 .6 million in water quality, pro water quality projects, 113 total. And with our investment, we've uh, invested in over 75 million projects in the county since then. So that's great. And we had problems getting people in the beginning to actually apply for this, but we don't seem to have problems anymore getting people to apply. So it's a great program and we appreciate everyone's participation from homeowners associations to park districts to municipalities to you name it, we get everybody now. So it's a good thing. So, did I have a motion and a second? We did. Any questions? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Motion carries. I have a motion on 8B, 24 2427. Uh, this person just to strand associates to decrease the amount of 43,464.70. Uh, for contract expiring. Moved by Member Desart, yes. second by Member Garcia. Any questions? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Carries. A motion on HC, SM-CO1-24, issued to engineering resources to assist in design and engineering stormwater permitting for county infrastructure projects to extend the contract from November to November 30th, 2025. No change in contract. Moved by Member Garcia, second by Member Evans. Any questions? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. I motion on SMR 5-24, approval of the Intergovernmental Agreement between the County of DuPage and the Village of Roselle for cost share for the Temple Drive Drainage Improvement Project. Member Police, seconded by no Member Garcia. Any questions? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Motion carries. To 8E. I motion on SMP 24-24, approval of contract issued to V3 companies for on-call drainage professional engineering services, stormwater management from October 8th, 2024 to November 30th, 2025, for some uh, amount not to exceed $75,000. Garcia. Second by Member Evans. You know, you guys could sit up by Paula. She's a nice person. Any questions? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, move to 8F. I have a motion on SMP 25-24. Contract issued to Black and Veatch for professional engineering service for Elmhurst Quarry Highwall Engineering uh, from October 8, 2024 to November 30, 2025. Amount not to exceed 350000 Moved by Member Desart. Second by Member Garcia. This is for our, uh, our problem out at the quarry. Uh, Black and Beach was selected. They actually have previous experience with the high wall. They did a lot of the work previously. So they have a lot of the historical records on it still. So that's a good thing. I do want to thank the chair. She put a uh, million dollars uh, for this project into next year's budget. So this year? I think it's in this year's budget. Is that correct? 
November, December. Okay. Do we get to keep the interest on that, Nick? Oh, okay, great. <laughs> okay. Well, I thank the chair for that. And again, that was unexpected, but again, it's good that we uh, take a look at our facilities and make sure they're, uh, you know, working in the right way. Any other questions? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, item nine, uh, any discussion on the budget? Yes, we do have an update um, when Chair Conroy proposed her budget. Uh, the proposal was for a 3.5% COLA, which is different than we predicted when we did our initial budget proposals to the committee. Um, that does change not only the salary for 2025, but also will change um, our IMRF and possibly a couple other lines in the personnel. Once um, we get all of that information back and work with the finance department on that, I will email that updated budget to the committee so they have that for review and concurrence. Um, and then as Chair Zay mentioned, um, during, the chair, during Chair Conroy's budget proposal, there was also an indication that a million dollars for the Elmhurst Quarry would be put into the 2024 budget based on the surplus available. Um, a lot of that will go to this engineering contract and for potential repair of the high wall at the Elmhurst Quarry. And while we're doing all this, if anybody wants to like increase the budget for stormwater, this is the perfect time to do it. You know, while we're doing it, might as well, you know, do it because, you know, while we're in there getting okay. our fingers messy, it's like making sausage. You might as well just continue, right? Paul, I know you want to. I can see it on your face. You want to remember to start? Well, and that, you know, begs the question, um, will the budget be increased when you add the 3.5% COLA and the IMRF and will the budget be increased or will you find that within the stormwater budget that you've already presented? We will try to find it within the stormwater budget. I'm not sure what other departments are doing with that, um, but we do usually try to add extra into the contingency. And so that will be the first place we look to adjust for that additional compensation. Thank you. So we might flood out orphanages or something like that. That could be, that might happen. So, you know. <laughs> okay, I guess that's enough on the budget discussion. Any, any old business? Any, oh, Joan, it's Joan's 21st birthday tomorrow. There are donuts in the back caucus room. So if everybody please uh, go help yourself. Uh, and new business, this is kind of a sad thing, but this is uh, Courtney's last meeting. Courtney is leaving us. She's going, moving down to Florida with her mom. So uh, she's going to be, uh, she's going to be missed. And uh, we appreciate everything she's done. And Sarah's got the. Thank you, Courtney. Um, while, while we are working on your replacement, a lot of times what we've discussed in this process is that Courtney isn't just an administrative assistant for the director. She's, she's truly an office manager. And uh, I don't know how many of you have worked with engineers in your past, but they need to be managed. It's like herding cats. And I know I'm one of them. She successfully <laughs> herds cats daily. Um, it's going to be big shoes to fill. She has small feet, but big shoes. And um, we, we are going to miss her. We, we hope that when she is back up here, she stops in and visits us. Well, thank you, Courtney. And again, we hate to lose you, but family comes first always. So we wish you luck. And, and again, if you want to come back, you know, we're always here. But again, thank you, Courtney. We wish you the best. Any other new business? Seeing none, is there a motion to adjourn? by member Tornatori, second by member Evans. All in favor? We're adjourned. Aye. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>